Today we're talking about the Sirius Pro Cardioid Condenser Microphone, the Rode NT1 Kit, also named the quietest microphone in the world. After watching the whole video, you'll get a better understanding why this microphone is so popular for creators and home studios. Rode introduced the NT1 after the NT1A in 2014. Why Rode didn't name the newer version NT1B, as in black or B after A, is a missed opportunity in my opinion. But who cares about the name, right? Why I chose for the Rode NT1 instead of the NT1A will also become clear throughout this video. I have been using Rode products for quite some time now, mainly for video work, and that is also why I chose for this microphone. So the sound you're hearing right now is coming straight out of my camera and why I want to show you the difference between these three different Rode products that I use to record my voice. Uh, the first one is a SmartLav Plus, which is around 50 euros. Then the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is around 180 euros. And then the Rode NT1 kit that is around 220 euros. And I want to hear what the difference is. The sound you're hearing right now is the Rode SmartLav Plus without any post-processing. And the sound you're hearing right now is coming from my video mic Pro that is on top of my camera around one meter away from my face. And this is the sound coming from the NT1 microphone, which is, yeah, a lot closer as you can see, which I think helps. I thought it would be nice to voice over this video so you can see and hear what this mic is all about. So you can get a clear idea what this microphone sounds like straight out of the box Talking about straight out the box, let's start with the unboxing. My name is Felix and this is How To Create the channel for creators with everything you need to create. The box instantly states a 10 year warranty, which I think speaks to the quality in a blink of an eye. So opening up the beautiful design packaging, we see a split package of the microphone on the left side and a shock mount with pop filter on the right side. Getting the microphone out of the plastic I immediately feel the super premium quality of this microphone. The weight and the feel of this microphone give away that it's solid metal. And an I love Rode sticker, which I have no idea what I'm gonna do with, but it's funny. A little dust cover pouch, which isn't the highest quality ever. Opening up the package, I instantly recognize the high quality that Rode also uses on their VideoMic Pro microphones. Another manual for the shock mount, a metal attachment ring, and that's it. Giving it a look from a different perspective, we can see how high quality everything is. The microphone looks absolutely stunning. So let's attach it all together. Oh. Almost forgot the pop filter. I didn't expect the pop filter to be metal, so I was super surprised here when I first opened it up. And there we go. This is the complete kit. Now placing the blue ring inside the microphone to have a tight fit for an XLR. Too bad an XLR cable doesn't come with the kit. I got a standard Divine XLR cable from Amazon that I'll connect to the mic now. The first time it was a bit difficult to make it click, but eventually it did. So to be able to use it in my home studio, I got my first package from Amazon NL, which just went online that day. Opening it up real quick, we have the PSA-1 studio arm also by Rode, which I chose because, yeah, it's also from Rode, so they work well together, I thought. First, we get a table mount that looks super clean. It is quite heavy, as you would expect it to be. And it is soft on the inside to not damage the surface of your table. Next, we have a gold finished screw mount that already came with the microphone kit, so we won't need that. Putting that aside, next is the big boy. The arm that screams, CAUTION! SPRING LOADED! Good to know, Rode. Then we have another option to drill a hole in the table and connect it that way. It looks very nice and I think it would be very nice to use that in the future uh, when I'm 100% sure where I want it to be on my desk. But for now, I'll be using the table mount that I'll attach next. I'll raise my desk a little, which I did my previous video about actually. If you want to see that, click here. As you can see, the microphone is a bit high up on the desk and takes up quite some space. Tighten it up from below and that's it. Now putting the arm in the clamp mount like this and attaching the whole NT1 kit to the PSA-1 arm. 
First, screwing on the screw converter and then screwing on the microphone. Next, attaching the XLR cable again, which fits better this time. There's also a nice cable clamp, or whatever you would name it. And then road velcro strips to attach the XLR nice and tight to the arm. I do have some space behind my desk and the wall, also because of the Philips Hue LED strip that is behind the desk. There isn't a problem for that, however, it would have been nice to be able to run the cable through the hole in the desk to hide it even more, giving me an extra reason to use that option. But for now, it'll do just fine behind the desk. Next, I'll screw the shock mount to be facing the front. Honestly, I just figured out how awesome it would have been if there would have been a liquid head attached to the arm to be able to rotate the mic around as well. Next, tighten the screws to make it all level. Perfect. Okay, now connecting the XLR to my Scarlett Focusrite 2i2 audio interface. Also a very important note is that this microphone is an XLR cardioid condenser microphone like I said before, therefore requiring 48 volt of phantom power. So even though this mic does not have a direct USB output, if you didn't know this, uh, it is very versatile when it comes to usage. I noticed that since this is a cardioid microphone, it is very nice for streaming too. I have blue switches on my keyboard, which are very loud if you know what I mean. But this is what the mic picks up while I'm typing and talking at the same time. I think it's crazy. I've been loving this sound card for quite some time now, using it with my KRK Rocket 6 and my Audio Technica ATH M50 Xs. Which, if you are interested in those, you can watch my video by clicking here again. What I also like is that I can turn on direct monitoring from my microphone without delay through the CPU. So if you're using a microphone and are having headphones on, you can hear yourself through your headphones, which is less awkward when you're talking into the mic. Overall, the Rode NT1 has really, really surprised me for the quality that I get for its price. I really like the premium build quality and I love the way it makes my voice sound. The mic in combination with the arm is great and in combination with the sit-stand desk, allowing me to be very versatile, just being able to stand up and still use the microphone, swing around the monitor, and yeah, being able to use it like that as well makes it, makes it very easy to use. So what is the audio quality, you would think? It records from 20 Hz to 20 kHz, which is the same as what people can hear. The NT1 has a super flat frequency response, which makes it sound very smooth, in my opinion. In comparison, the NT1A has a more characterized sound to it, which you like or you don't. The quality of the NT1 kit and the slight difference in sound made me choose for the NT1 over the NT1A. Of course, the acoustics in your room make up to 80% of your sound, but still. If you haven't noticed, podcasts have been really booming lately, and I would love to start a weekly podcast very, very soon. So I'm really curious what you would like to listen to. What podcast are you still missing? What would you like to hear? What would you like to listen to? Let me know in the comments and in the poll what you think. So I hope you liked this video. I do spend a lot of time into making them for you. If you're thinking of getting this mic, it would really help me out if you use the link in my description, which will give me a small contribution from Amazon, allowing me to review more amazing products in the future and keeping the quality of my videos as high as possible. If you want to support me even more, for now, click on the like button and subscribe to get next week's video straight into your inbox. Thanks for watching. Go create something amazing. See ya.